let's go to Matthew chapter 7, 17 through 20. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. So what is this saying here? We should know, wait, what does it mean by fruit? Fruit, pretty much it means your actions, your words, pretty much what you are putting out, the way that you live life, your fruit, like what is coming out of you, what are you doing? What are you saying? What are you thinking? So on and so on. So this is saying, a sinner is not going to act like a servant of God. A servant of God is not going to act like a sinner you are going to see a clear difference. I can talk with a person for maybe a half hour or an hour. And by the way that they speak, by the way that they think, I can tell sometimes easily if they serve God or not. Because there is going to be a particular way that a servant of God is going to act and speak, so on and so on. There is going to be a certain way. You can only act fake for so long. A person who doesn't serve God can only act fake for so long. Pretty soon, they have to show their true colors, the way that they truly are. You can only hide that for only so long. Unless you become a hermit. <laughs> Even so, you can't fool God. <laughs> so I pray that this makes sense here. Let me say this too. Some people say that because of Jesus Christ's death, that all we have to do is believe in Jesus Christ and we can still sin as much as we like, then after we die, we are going to heaven. So pretty much some people are saying you can still live like heathens. And all you have to do is believe in Jesus Christ and you and you are going to heaven afterward. Some people say that. Almost everywhere in the Bible, you are going to see that the Bible speaks against sin almost everywhere. But you believe that all you have to do is believe. The Apostle Paul speaks against sin. He speaks about holiness. Let me say this. So you believe that all you have to do is believe, okay. Let's say that there is a pedophile. And this pedophile rapes 10 kids every week. Are you telling me all this person have to do is believe in Jesus Christ and when that person dies as a persistent, 
consistent pedophile. You are telling me that person is going to heaven? Are you serious? <laughs> you can lose your salvation. We have to live right by God. If you sin, repent of your sin and continue to try to live for God. No matter how many times you mess up, get back up and keep living for God. There is no such thing as once saved, always saved. That doctrine is going to curse you and send you to hell, then to the lake of fire, which is worse than hell. It is separate from hell as well. Let's go to 18. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit. So as a sinful person, let's say that I am a sinful person. I can't live as a servant of God because I am evil. How can I live as a servant of God when I am evil? So when you see a person that says that they serve God, but they act like a sinner, you know that they are lying. Because a servant, yes, a servant of God may make mistakes here and there, but even with that, it is going to be different than how a sinner lives. Okay. Where am I? <laughs> 18, I believe. Neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. So, a sinner can't act like a servant of God for long. Because everything, or almost everything within them, is going to be evil. It is going to be against the rules and regulations of God. 19. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewed down and cast into the fire. So this is saying, if you choose to disobey God all your life, then die without repenting, you are going to be cast into hell. Well, God is a very mean God to cast me into hell. Look, he is giving you the opportunity to obey him. It is not that he wants to send you to hell, but you are choosing to go against what he wants. So why would he allow you to go to a place where everyone else is obeying him and you are going to be the one to disobey him in heaven. There is going to be chaos. Look, you see this world. The reason why this world is so bad is because people choose to disobey God. So you believe that you are going to take your sinful self into heaven and bring chaos there as well? I think not. I think not. When I go to heaven, I don't want any sinful people there because I don't want heaven to be like earth. I am tired of earth. I am. Let all the sinful people sin in their own space. Let all the righteous people be in one area. Let's live separate. Don't bring any chaos to heaven. This is why 
people who choose to disobey God goes to hell. Because it would not be fair on earth the sinful and the righteous have to live in one place and there is chaos. So in the next life, I don't want you there because this earth is a pain already. So why in the world would I want or anyone else want chaotic people to live with them again? I don't want that. If you want to sin, if you want to sin against God and do your own thing, hey, go to a place where you can sin all day long with your other friends, with demons and Satan and stuff like that. Go. 20. Wherefore, by their fruits, ye shall know them. So you are going to know how a person is or whether they serve God or not by the way that they live their lives. So it doesn't matter if a person is a pastor, bishop, apostle, deacon, priest, whatever. Just because a person holds a position in church doesn't mean they are right with God. Sometimes it means the opposite. <laughs> so I pray that this makes sense. Live right by God. Why not? Why continue to play around? Your spirit, your soul is at stake. You only have one spirit. You have only one chance. On this earth, you can repent as many times as you like. Once you die, there is no more repenting. It is over. It is done. So get your life right with God now. The sins that you are doing now, they can be stopped. It takes effort. It takes faith. You have to become reliant upon God. You have to. So I pray that this makes sense. God bless you.